What up, what up? Straight to the point. It's all starting to make sense now. A lot of people and their feelings because Trump won. A lot of people and their feelings because old girl lost. Truth is this though. Doesn't matter if Trump won or not and you still don't do nothing with your life you know so you can have that make America great attitude or think that you know you have gotten your savior or think that you're up somehow some way Or some other shit. And if you're a woman, I kind of feel why you might be disappointed because, I mean, if I was a woman, I'd probably want to see a female president just because. So I kind of feel it, you know what I mean? But here's what people are missing as far as the Trump supporters. And the other lady supporters. They don't run shit. Y'all just think they run shit. This is this is the problem. I really feel like once Biden mysteriously just stopped running, I really feel like um this whole thing is to make genders separate even more. And it causes racism too. You know, pushing the the agenda that Trump's a racist. So when when he gets elected, you know, all the people who are racist themselves feel like they're up one and they they uh, make America great type shit, right? Then on the other hand. You got other people feeling like women's rights are gone. Um, maybe women in general just feeling like fuck men basically nah for real though like a lot of women are in their feelings right now because they just feel like they were so close and I understand that's the only part I understand for real like if you're a woman I understand why you might feel disappointed but at the end of the day people think that Trump is their God or they think that the, the woman would be their God Basically, or their savior or whatever, but they don't run shit, dog. This is what y'all not getting, man. I feel like they put Trump out there. They put the racist part out there for the Trump thing. And then they put the woman thing out there, you know, and, and two things are happening. You got war gender now and you got racism now. It was already there. We already have war gender and racism. Now you might as well just put bombing fluid on that shit. Look at every post you see. It's about gender or race. Every every post. To me, uh, the the election is not what you think. It's just to keep people divided and distracted and controlled. At the end of the day, the people who rule the world, who y'all would call the Rothschilds or the Illuminati, right? They're the ones that really run the shit. It's not Trump and the fucking woman, man. This is how the Simpsons always get shit right. It's not the Simpsons getting the shit right. It's the people who own the, or make the Simpsons who are the so-called elite people. The elite owns Hollywood, media, all that shit, man. They own all that shit. 
It's the same people that y'all act like don't exist. Y'all don't know their tactics. That's why y'all fall for the y'all drink the Kool-Aid. You drink the Kool-Aid. The women have drunk the Kool-Aid of believing that there's going to be a woman president and this and that. And then you got like other people who really believe that the agenda of Trump is racist. So if they're racist, they're all for it. You know what I mean? And they think they're safe. They think they ain't got nothing to worry about. And they're also looking at other people, you know, like with even more racism now. Like, haha, we back in it. We winning now. You ain't winning shit. Because at the end of the day, Trump can't save your life. Trump can't change your life. You got to. And neither could the woman if she got elected. Women have to change their lives. The woman who gets elected or could have got elected, she ain't gonna, she can't change her life. You got to do that shit, man. I'm my president. That's why I don't give a fuck if Trump won or the other girl won. It does. It wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. I feel like as a man, I feel like men are supposed to be, or men are created to be leaders. But if the woman won, it would be interesting to see a woman president. And technically, she is a woman president because she was a vice president. She wasn't the main president, but you think vice presidents don't have any say-so on what presidents do, right? Just like the Illuminati has say-so on what presidents do. Because at the end of the day, people, it's all about them. It's not about no Trump or no fucking girl. They just put that black chick there and then so-called black chick, you know, and then they put Trump there and it's causing two things that y'all don't see racism and fucking gender war. It's making it even worse. Y'all just don't see it. Y'all will like, I mean, well, some of y'all ain't going to ever see it because you'll see a video like this and still just ignore what I'm saying and just act like it just happened. It just happened, right? It just so happened they put a woman in there and got Biden out the way. When and where do they do that at? Oh, Biden was sick, I guess. And y'all gonna believe that shit too. I don't believe nothing they say or show. Trump got shot. I don't believe it. I need to see evidence. Real hardcore evidence. Like up close fucking cameras. You All this technology. Somebody, where's the real shots at? Trump got shot. Never believed that when I seen it. I just blew it off like, all right, whatever. You know, the Simpsons, back to that Simpsons shit. The reason why they're always predicting shit is because these people who rule the world, they think they are God. Remember, it said in the book, he will magnify, magnify himself as if he is God. Remember how they say now that the so-called elite can change weather, right? They can make people, AI, right? Anything that God has done, they're trying to mimic and make themselves. Cloning people, changing the weather, making fake food. The list can go on and on. They think they are God, man. They think they are God. You guys got to wake up, man. And, and and stop worrying about who's in the office and all that shit. Cause even if even if the woman did win, you y'all just don't want a woman to be in charge and run the world. She still wouldn't have been in charge. Trump's still not in charge. So all the Trump supporters doing all your little jumping jacks and this and that. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, whatever these so-called elite hidden people want is going to happen. It ain't about no fucking Trump or the other lady. I don't know her name. H Harris, I think. It's not about them, man. They are not in charge of this world. A lot of people are not going to believe that, though. Because they don't even believe in the Illuminati. You know, the people who rule the world, they don't believe that. They don't believe that this shit exists. These, these secret societies and shit. There's people out here who do not believe all oh, that's some bullshit and this and that. And that's why they don't know how they move. 
That's why when they, they fake a cop murder of a white cop killing a black guy, that's why you, you fall in and drink the Kool-Aid because you don't understand how they move. If you understood how they move, you would at least investigate it first. Just like with the COVID shit over by the U UD uh, stadium. They showed on the fucking the TV, the news. Everybody's here lined up getting COVID shots and dude said he rolled past and wasn't a fucking soul there. What about the COVID picture where they had the same hospital, but on the bottom of the screen, it showed different. It, it was one was in America and then one was overseas somewhere. Same fucking hospital and shit. Y'all got to wake up, man. When will y'all wait? When they say wake up, a lot of y'all laugh that shit off like it's just some little joke or something. No, it means waking up, realizing the people who rule the world and why they move and how they moving. Just like the Pete Diddy shit. Honestly, I don't think that there's really anything. I think it's just a distraction. I think Pete Diddy is a character. Just like the rest of the celebrities. And the, the character gets public shamed off or died off or killed off. Not him, the person, but the character, P. Diddy. So in other words, P. Diddy can gain a little weight or go under some type of different look. And you think he in jail. One of these videos I've seen, man, and it looked legit as fuck. The prince was at his own fucking funeral, at, dressed as his sister. You know what I mean? It's like crazy shit that be going on, man. Like the Gucci man shit. Just a lot of shit. These people are lying to y'all, man. But y'all don't, y'all think these people don't exist, so I can't help you. You know, the truth shall set you free. The Bible says, and I believe that shit. Because once you know the truth, you don't get caught up in the bullshit. A lot of people right now can't be free right now because they punching air, punching that air because Trump won. Or if the woman won, you would have had a lot of racist people or whatever punching that air. You know what I mean? Because they don't understand that it was already set up. I didn't show y'all a picture earlier of the map of the Simpson things that was right on point with the red and the blue. How the fuck they predict all that? How do the Simpsons predict all this shit, man? It's because they're the it's the same people that runs the world. Which stage shit, stage COVID and all this shit. Create diseases for us, all this. But y'all go ahead and have your little fun and think that Trump's gonna save you. Or you go ahead and beat yourself to death because you thought that a woman was finally going to be president and run the world when really the Rothschilds still run the world, which means men still run the world. So if you're a woman caught up in that in your feelings, you might as well just leave it alone. Because even if that woman was in office, men would still be running, one running the shit. And they're the, these men are the so-called Rothschilds, the Illuminati, the elites. So who, why does it even matter? They're only doing that because they know how y'all gonna feel about this shit, man. And look what y'all doing. Fighting each other. Genders. People talking about they done lost friends and shit. You know, this is what they want because they need us to be divided as people. That's how they rule over us. <clears throat> they can't rule over us for real, for real. If we always all stand at one, as one, and money and racism and gender and shit like that didn't separate us they couldn't st they couldn't stop us and we didn't depend on them for our food and shit they couldn't stop us but they got to make it to where we depend on them for our food and all this other shit and they got to make us divided how we won country but we we uh red and blue that don't make no fucking sense it never did make sense It never did make sense. I don't vote because I don't believe the shit matters. If if I didn't think like I do and thought that it was really legit and 100%, then I see why people vote. But I know better and I don't believe that shit. Because I know how these people move. I don't believe it's real. I believe it's all staged. Just my opinion. The Obama shit, all that shit. 
And that Obama shit was the cause of division too. You know how I many racist people was mad because of that? But them, say, them racist people, what they need to realize is it don't matter if it's in the fucking White House. Worry about your, your life. Fix your life. But then again, maybe that's why you're racist. Because you, you ain't fixing your life. You worry about other shit in life that don't fucking matter. And other people. And all this dumb shit. It is what it is, people. I'm just glad the shit's over. At least for y'all's sake. I mean, I really wasn't caught up in the shit. And I will not vote because I feel like them, the elite, the president, and all that shit, I feel like they are that man of sin that the Bible talks about. So therefore, if I would have voted, I'm actually been a part of putting someone in office or whatever the case. Even though the Rothschild's still running anyway, so it really don't matter, but you get my point. I don't want nothing to do with that at all. That's why I don't vote. I don't want shit to do with it. And I don't think they're going to um, do that abortion shit either because they created the abortion shit. They want it to be. They want abortions. So why would they stop it? Doesn't make sense. They're trying to control population and shit. So unless there's something I'm missing, ain't no way they're going to pass that shit. Or should I say, ain't no way these so-called Rothschilds are going to allow that shit to happen. Because they're for abortion. So why the fuck would they stop it? That, that, that don't make sense to me. Unless there's some type of agenda that I'm not catching on to. I don't know. But at the end of the day, even if abortion is illegal, stop sleeping with bums. Now, if you got raped, I don't know what to speak on. I don't know what to say. It's fucked up, but I don't know what to say on that. But other than that, the other only other way around the shit is don't sleep with bums. Because if you get pregnant by a solid dude, you, you're not going to want an abortion. You know, you get pregnant by a bum, well, that's where this shit happens. <sighs> man, this shit crazy, man. This shit is crazy. I just want to give y'all the message that um, even if, even if, and I'm talking to the so-called, you know, people who are under the make America great vibration. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to people who think that they missed the opportunity of a woman being president. I'm talking to the people who think that they're up against racism now because Trump's in the office. I'm talking to all y'all. You are the one that's going to change your life. Doesn't matter if Trump's in there. Doesn't matter if that other woman's in there. So whether you're the biggest racist in the world, Trump ain't going to help you fix your life. You got to do that. And you probably won't be able to do it because you're too caught up on racism. That's too much energy. That's a lot of drained energy and hate that you got up in you. You know what I mean? You, you got, you're sick. You need to fix your shit. You're sick, dog. You're sick. You know? And people get mad at people because of this little shit, it just don't make sense, man. Just don't make sense. I need to get in here before I don't feel like hitting these weights, so. I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. Be your own president. You are in control of your life. You know, and um, don't think because somebody's here, it's... it's a perfect situation for you that's going to make your life better or don't think that it's worse. Don't think your life's over, whatever. You just got to be you, man, and do what's right for your life. You are your president, man. Not these people. Not these puppets. Not these puppets, man. So, I'll catch you on the next one. Don't fight with people and hate people and all this other shit. You know, we got enough racism out here. And we got enough war gender out here. 
You know, it's time to it's time to take a stand. And I feel like they played this shit perfectly, man. They put that woman in there. They played that shit perfectly. And now look at y'all. Female and male fighting against each other. And you got the Trump thing going on. Well, if he's a felon, how come I can't get a job type of shit? It's just a bunch of bullshit, man. Don't drink that Kool-Aid, man. They got it out there for a reason. You just don't, you got to recognize what the fuck they, you got to recognize what they're doing. Once you, once you start to learn how they move, it's so easy to see it. Like, nah, I know why they're doing this or why they let that happen or why they said that. You know, I think one of, and I see a lot of LeBron, like getting accused of not showing love to kids and shit. I think that's part of his, uh, his, um, public shaming ritual. Those who know, know what I'm talking about. Those who study these elite, you know what I'm talking about. I think that's part of his public, pub, public shaming ritual, which means they get boosted up in the so-called Mason bullshit. So Puffy about to be fucking up there, up there. He was already up there. He really about to be up there now. Puffy, I don't believe that shit. I don't believe that Puffy shit. Only reason, only way I believe the Puffy shit is if he was doing it the whole time. And the elite people know, but they don't, that's what they do. They do it too. So, and he must have broke an oath and now they expose him for it. Or it's just flat out not true. None of that shit is true. It's just a big ass distraction. Y'all got to be careful with this shit. Now it's the little dirt distraction. <laughs> you know what I mean? And guess what? Two weeks, a month later, it's going to be something else. They got to use these celebrities. These celebrities sold out to them. So that's why I don't believe the Puffy shit. I believe Puffy's a Mason. So why the fuck is Puffy going to jail if he's a Mason? It don't make sense. It's not how that shit works. So I don't believe that shit. I believe it's, the, it's a distraction. You don't go from being the Mason to nothing unless you broke the oath. <sighs> shit crazy as fuck, man. Yeah, I'm out of here, man. I'm done talking to y'all. Y'all have a good one.